power creep has practically been a big problem in Warframe since primes were first thought of. For those of you that have no idea what the hell power creep is, here you go. For those of you that are too lazy to read, power creep is basically the process of when new, stronger weapons slowly but surely make older weapons irrelevant due to being weaker, thus making players stronger and making previous content absolutely pointless. That sounds awfully accurate for Warframe, doesn't it? I mean, how many mastery rank fodder weapons can you think of off the top of your head? While power creep is a really big problem in Warframe, keep in mind that it's not exclusive to this game, as Hearthstone is a prime example. The biggest complaints that people have with power creep is that it adds fuel to the grinding wheel that is Warframe. Let me clarify on this. Remember when Dacre Prime was the best sword in the game? It was so until War and Broken War were released, with Broken War being a direct upgrade to the Dacre Prime, and War having the best melee stats in the game. Now the War is on the verge of being replaced. If Dadamanine results from the Warframe subreddit are correct, then Galatine Prime will effectively replace War as the best melee weapon in the game, unless you prefer impact over slash damage. I'm sure you're familiar with the Sancti Tigris as well. Well, the Sancti Tigris that you've poured an Orokin Catalyst and 3 Forma into is now going to be rendered kind of useless now that the Tigris Prime is going to be released. My point here is that newer weapons, primes in particular, are guilty of making previous weapons completely pointless, including previous primes. If anything, it's kind of odd how DE is spending more time releasing new weapons rather than fixing older ones, something which completely boggles my mind. By doing so, DE is basically forcing you to grind even more just so you can continue to have the most up-to-date and powerful gear. Don't believe me? Let's take Tigris Prime again as an example. If you are like me and you have a Sancti Tigris, first you'll have to grind for relics because new prime parts will certainly bring new relics. Then, you'll have to grind for the Tigris prime parts you need, and if you don't get them, you'll have to go back to grinding for relics. Once that's done, then you'll need to build your Tigris prime, assuming that you have all the resources to do so. Then, you have to start grinding your Tigris prime to max level over and over again until you've applied all the forma you need, with an Orokin catalyst as well. Does this not sound ludicrous to you? This level of grinding is what you'd find in an MMO like Guild Wars 2, not a free-to-play shooter. The overall issue with power creep is that it turns Warframe into a digital hamster wheel. The game will move forward or backward at the pace you decide to go, and if you decide to stop and get off the wheel, you're going to have to work a tad harder to turn the wheel again to catch up on everything you've lost. Warframe's not going to last forever but it's likely that you'll just end up quitting Warframe before the game ever ends. Sooner or later, you'll either just no longer have time to play Warframe, or the chore that is grinding will no longer appeal to you, no matter how many Clem memes the community can come up with. Thank you, thank you for watching.